Hello friends, today we will see how to upgrade FX5 View firmware. So let's open GXbox 3. Now take a new project, series FX5 View, click OK. Now new project is being created. Now first we will check the communication of the PLC. Now we are using direct coupled Ethernet. So in adapter setting, we will select the Ethernet port and it communication test. Now it is successfully connected. Now we will see the version of the PLC. Now you can see the version of the PLC is 1.231. Now let's go to the browser and we will go to Mitsubishi.com to check which latest firmware is available for FX5 view PLC. So here in Mitsubishi website, go to software, downloads and then in software, as soon as you click on software, you need to select country that is now in India, as we are in India. In this download section, Click Programmable Controller Melsec and here you will find Melsec IQF PLC which is FX5 View. So the latest firmware available for FX5 View PLC is 1.247 and what we have is 1.231. So we can upgrade to 1.247 so let's download this file this is a zip file so we'll save this file now the download is completed now let's copy this zip file to a new folder and paste it here Oh, I see we already have this firmware with me. So we'll choose that one. This is FX5U CPU 1247. So this is decompressed file. Now you can see I have connected a SD card to my laptop. Let's, let's first format it. And it's a quick format and uh, it's completed. Now let's open the SD card. There is nothing. So we'll select the content of this folder and we will paste, copy, and we'll paste it the direct root directory of SD card. Now let's remove SD card from laptop. The safe remove is always recommended. So now this is the SD card where these files are there. Now let's check the manual how to upgrade the firmware. As you can see in the manual that it's asking to go to the website and download the latest firmware and copy this to the memory card and via memory card we can upgrade the firmware of FX5 PLC.
so we'll go below and check what's next in the manual and the same things are written that the primary file that we downloaded from Mitsubishi website is a zip file and when we unzip this file we'll file a folder and some content inside that folder and uh, now copy this content of the folder to the root directory of SD card So if you see these are the instructions that will follow. So now this is the PLC FX5 PLC and if you see here is the SD card slot where we are going to put our SD card to upgrade. So first we will put the PLC into stop mode. Now you can see PLC is not in run mode that is in stop mode then we will uh, restart or power off the PLC now it's power off and after that we'll insert the SD card inside the SD card slot of FX5U PLC just push it and it will get locked now we will start the PLC as you start the PLC you can see there is a card option is there and that is blinking that means PLC is now reading the card and content of the card and uh, we have to wait until the ERR and P run LED simultaneously blink slowly we need to wait up until then now you can see the ERR and P run are blinking blinking slowly so we need to wait for some or few seconds then we will either reset the PLC or we can restart or power on off the PLC in our case we will power on power off and power on the PLC so let's do it let's power off the PLC after power on you see the error and the P run is blinking fast so we need to wait again until this blinking will get stopped completely that means it's upgrading the latest firmware so you can see now the error and the P run now stopped blinking that means upgradation is complete now restart the PLC and the PLC is in a run mode now. Now this is 1.231 the last we checked. Let's check it again. First we will go to communication then communication test. Okay. Then we will check diagnosis and module diagnostic CPU. Now you can see the firmware is 1.247 which is 1.247 which we downloaded from the website please like share and subscribe thank you